Let's take a look at how we can set an alarm using Windows 11. I'm going to go to the Start button and click Clock. And if you don't see Clock here, you can type it in the search bar at the top. And that's going to pop up. And I'm going to click on where it says Alarm. And here is the alarm. Now, by default, it's going to be for 7 a.m. I can turn that on. And we can see that for here, we can go ahead and edit it and say, hey, maybe 7 a.m. is a little bit early. Let's go ahead and change that to 9. You can also change the a.m. to p.m. and change the minutes as well. And you can change the name of the alarm if you'd like as well. Now, if you wanted to repeat, you can check the box for repeating alarm, and you can choose which days you want. I'm going to choose uns unselect the Friday and Saturday ones, and it'll only repeat Sunday through Thursday as an example. And you can also change the sound it makes as well. So you've got all the different sounds that come by default with Windows 11, and you can choose those. And if you want to know what they sound like, you can click on the little thing. I don't have the sound enabled here, otherwise you'd be able to hear it, but you can go ahead and do that. And then we have the disabled 5, 10 minutes, and 30 minutes when it comes to the snooze. So you can snooze it if you'd like, and you can choose how long you'd like to do that, or just say, no, I don't trust myself, we'll just go ahead and disable the snooze. Now you can do the same thing by clicking on the plus, and you can create a whole new alarm, and you just have to go in here and make a change to the name. I'll just call it new alarm. I'll say repeat Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, for instance, and I'll leave the rest as it is and click save. Now, if I want to disable it, all I have to do is just click the switch and make it go to the left. You can see it gets grayed out. Um, so that way you don't end up with more than one alarm going off at the same time. So that is how we do alarms in Windows 11.